Hi, this tutorial shows how to orchestrate a quick start deployment plan on Oracle Cloud infrastructure using the JD Edwards One Click Provisioning Console. If this is the first pass through of a JD Edwards One Click Provisioning Orchestration, this global settings screen will appear when you click the Orchestrate icon. Click the View Edit Private Key button and on the pop-up dialog for Private Key Input for VM Access, you must specify the values for either the SSH private key text or browse it select the file that contains the SSH private key contents for accessing all the instances that are provisioned using this tool. In the Windows Administrator Details section, enter the Windows username and password. Ensure that the user has administrative privileges. In the Set Enterprise 1 Password section, Enter and then confirm the JDE user password and the passphrase for the site key and then save the values. The global setting values are already configured for this example. Now let's orchestrate the quick start deployment plan. We will discuss the procedures related to the advanced option in a separate tutorial. On the JD Edwards database server instance window, let's complete the fields to configure the database server instance. In the database configuration section, let's create the instance name as database demo and let's enter the host name of the machine. In the database configuration section, let's enter the db install path, db admin password, net service name and the container db name. In the JD Edwards database configuration, enable the use ASM feature option if you are using RackDB as your database server. Now, let's enter the details of the db install directory, db table directory, and the db index directory. Select the schemas as shared, development, and production. Click the demo data field and select development and production from the auto suggest list. The demo data will be available depending on the schema selected. For example, if you select the schema as development, the development demo data will be available. Click the next button. Because you will be connecting to an existing Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service Database instance, the system validates all the inputs that are provided. If the validation is successful, the JD Edwards Enterprise Server instance window is displayed. Let's create the instance name as ENT Demo and enter the host name of the machine. In the Enterprise Server Preferences section, select the server type as Batch and Logic from the Auto Suggest list. Let's select the path code as development and production. The path codes here correlate to the schemas you selected for the database server. Click the next button. Because you will be connecting to an existing Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service, the system validates all the inputs that are provided. If the validation is successful, the JD Edwards HTML server instance window is displayed. In the server configuration section, Let's create the instance name as HTML demo and enter the host name of the machine. Let's enter the value for the port and retain the path code as development. In the weblogic details section, let's enter the details as shown in this example. Click the next button. The system validates the inputs and if the validation is successful, the AIS server instance window is displayed. For this tutorial, Let's use the configuration of the HTML server and create the instance name as AIS Demo. Click the Next button. The system validates the inputs and if the validation is successful, the JD Edwards Deployment Server Instance window is displayed. Let's create the instance name as Deploy Demo and then enter the host name of the machine. In the Deployment Server Preferences section, Let's enter the values in the location and installation drive fields. The path codes field is automatically populated. This completes the quick start deployment plan. In the summary window, you can see that one instance is created for each of the servers. For this quick start deployment plan, you can click the options function from the menu bar to change your global settings or to reset your settings that is, to delete the orchestration data. Optionally, you can further customize a completed quick start deployment plan. Thanks for watching.